Dude, I hope Reimer's okay, cause Bernier's screwing up. Would it be so much to ask him to steal a game? He stopped 37 of 40 shots. What else do you want him to do? Score a goal? Phoenix's goalie did it. Are you saying Phoenix is better than Toronto? Are you saying America's better than Canada? Why do you hate your country? Ah! Whoa! Are you serious? <laughs> Mind blown. I need idea. I'm dumb. Deli hard. Can we get to the game, please. Yeah! Leafs lose 3-1 to the Chicago Blackhawks. I mean, obvi, it's the Blackhawks. The Blackhawks are great. They won the Stanley Cup twice in four years. The Leafs haven't won one in almost 50, but that's just the Leafs following a winning strategy. You see, for the longest time, the Hawks didn't have a cup for like half a century, but then they got really good and won the cup twice in four years. That's exactly what the Leafs are trying to do. It's a very simple yet brilliant strategy. Be good, after sucking for half a century, it's very simple. Regarding this game, uh, there's some Leaf fans I have to talk to. Not all of them, just a small group. Uh, I hate to say I told us so, but I told us so. I said the Leafs are going to have to win a lot of games because of goaltending because they keep getting outshot. And then some of you insanely said that's part of their strategy and something about Randy Carlisle and quality of shots. And then I pointed out that Randy Carlisle said something along the lines of if we keep playing like this, we're going to start losing games. And he said it more than once so far this season. And I still got called a negative Nancy. And then the Leafs proceed to do exactly what Randy Carlisle predicted would happen if the Leafs keep playing the way they do. And that's get curb stomped by the Chicago Blackhawks. The Leafs were outshot 9-3 in the first. And that's bad, but allowing nine shots isn't too egregious. It's the three part that's bad. Then the Leafs were outshot 20 to 6 in the second period. For those of you playing the home game, there's 20 minutes in a period. That's a shot a minute. And the Leafs are getting outshot 29 to 9 after 2. Despite this, the Leafs enter the third period down 3-1 to the Blackhawks, but that's, that's within shooting range. They have a chance to win. The first goal Bernier allowed was a stinker, but I'll get to that. That's the goalie's job. Jonathan Bernier gave the Leafs a chance to win. Now, even though it's the Leafs offense that should be getting criticized in this one because they were able to generate pretty much nothing against the Blackhawks, only 20 shots in the game, the Paul Ranger-Jake Gardner pairing needs to not be a thing anymore. I had some people tweet at me, why is Paul Ranger doing so bad? Well, I think that should be pretty obvious, shouldn't it? He's been away from the NHL for a while, and he's going to be rusty. We knew this. He had a pretty bad start to the season, but then, you know, he came around, had a few solid games, was looking more comfortable with Jake Gardner. Jake Gardner was looking more comfortable with him. Things were looking good. And in fairness, he had a pretty good one-on-one -on -one stop in this game. But Ranger was on for all three goals in this one, and... I actually wrote the post-game blog for theleafsnation.com after this one. It's usually Cam Sharon, but I filled in, and I posted all three goals there. You can check them out, and um, please explain to me what was going on. Gardner was on for two of them, too, and uh, yeah, wow. It's tough, because the only way Ranger's going to get better is if he plays games. That's the reason why he's not doing so great, is he didn't play any games the last few years. But at the same time, I look down at the Marlies, and they got a guy like TJ Brennan who's just lighting it up, and I'm like, maybe give him a shot. Someone run down to the ACC, rub Mark Fraser's foot or something, get him better. But again, Ranger story is the kind of one that you root for and just, you hope he can pull it together. Yes, he was on for all three goals. No, I don't think he played that great. But I feel bad harping on him because the team is outshot 40 to 20. That's not all Paul Ranger, guys. That's the Blackhawks being vastly better than the Toronto Maple Leafs right now. And don't get me wrong, the Leafs are getting there and they're super injured right now. They just haven't really been playing like it. We talked about this. Fraser McLaren's been out. Nikolai Kuhlman's been out. Mark fraser has been out. David Clarkson hasn't played a single game yet. This isn't the Leaf team that the Leafs meant to put on the ice. And obviously you want to win every game, but let's face it, if the Leafs beat the Hawks, it would have been a pretty huge upset. Even if they were healthy, it's the Chicago Blackhawks. And Joffrey Lupel even said before the game, the Hawks are the kind of team you want to measure yourself against. Well, Leafs aren't there. This might seem weird, but that might be good for a 6-1 team. Who, let's face it, was winning a lot of games because of goaltending. Losses suck, and you never want them, but the fact of the matter is it helps show the team, hey, you might not be quite as good as the standing show. And it makes them into a better team in the end, and just stronger, and see how I'm putting a positive spin on this? And you guys call me pessimistic. I'm still wearing a Leaf jersey after all this time, aren't I? Just saying the Hawks outclass the Leafs. Hey, the Leafs are becoming this big unpleasant team to play against 
but Chicago has so much skill that other than a pretty big Colton Nor hit, the Leafs weren't able to generate anything physically. They need to improve, and that's not a bad thing. They're not the defending Stanley Cup champs, so they have something to aspire to. Even the Hawks aren't like, oh, well, good, we're perfect. They made trades right away after winning the Cup. One of those guys, Dave Boland. Question of the game, and it's pretty broad, but I think it's pretty big. What do the Leafs got to do to be as good as the Blackhawks? Obviously, I like the physicality, I love the goaltending, and the Leafs are doing a pretty good job of scoring goals most nights, but you cannot keep leaning on your goalie night after night after night. Your goalie can be the better goalie most nights. Your goalie can steal one for you every now and then, maybe a couple times a week. But when you are always relying on your goalie to win, you're not always going to win. Thank you very much for watching. Click like on this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out the Steve Dangle podcast on iTunes. We're going to record a new episode today. And I'll see you next time when the Leafs play the Anaheim Ducks. Quack.